these two people coming to sit down and sat right in the front, they were glaring at me, so much anger. I'm like, are you in the right room? What's going on? And they didn't laugh at any of the parts that I think are pretty funny. <laughs> and they just sat there like this. <laughs> and then at the end of the speech, I didn't clap. And then, when it was Q&A, the man put his hand up. It was a man and his wife, and, and, and his wife, man and woman. And he said, that's all well and good, James. What about the farmers? I was like, oh, okay, good call. Because where to get protein, that's easy. What about the farmers? That's complicated. That's a good question to ask. So I answered him as best I could at the time. I was sort of still learning. And I said, I don't want farmers to suffer either. You know, I'm, you're not my enemy. It's the system that's the enemy. It's the idea that animals are here for us to use and profit from. That is the enemy. I want you to succeed and your family to succeed as well. Just not at the expense of animals. Not at the expense of someone else. There are many ways that you can transition out of this and transition your farm into something else. Solar panel farm, wind turbine farms, berry farms. There's lots of different options. And if you are interested, we can point you in that direction. But the, the bottom line is that we shouldn't be helping farmers or anybody to profit off the lives of somebody else. But that was like a 20 minute conversation back and forth. And it was going, you know, I was like, just starting doing speeches. I didn't have a lot of confidence with it at the time. And the vibe of the room started going down. Cause this guy's being very aggressive. I'm trying to be real Buddha. I'm like, this <laughs> The vibe of the room started going down. I started getting some anxiety because other people were chiming in, you know, normal beings, through this party. You know, they're like, this And the whole vibe changed. And I, I got away. I thought, oh man, this is ending really badly. But we have three options when we're talking to people. We have three options. People are gonna test you all the time. And this is gonna come up, it's great because it gives you an opportunity to grow. And someone tests you, and, and let's say they're being aggressive and condescending like this man was. Option number one, you go down to that level. You be aggressive and condescending as well. You have a fight. Is that going to get you anywhere? Are you going to plant some seeds? Probably not. He's probably going to walk out of there even more turned off the idea of being vegan. I hate vegans. I knew they were like that. It made no sense. Just wanted to fight me. Doesn't understand this at all. Probably not good. It's, de it's definitely possible that you can push people further in the opposite, in the wrong direction. So just keep that in mind. That just because just you're talking about it, if you're doing it in a way that's pushing them away, they're not helping, you can be hindering. Second option, they're being aggressive and condescending. You're being chill and peaceful and doing your thing. Okay, will something happen here? Will you plant some seeds? Maybe, maybe not. But at least you stayed up here. You didn't generate hate inside of yourself. You didn't add hate to this world, already full of hate. You know, you didn't do that. Did they come up or anything like that? No, they stayed there, that's fine. That's option two. Option three is the opposite of option one. You know how people can easily bring you down? It happens to me so regularly. People easily bring you down because they just want to have a conversation. They start saying shit about it and you just like, listen, man, and you get into it. The opposite of that is you're being chill, you're being peaceful, understand where you're coming from, this is what I believe. You can bring them up, just like they can drag you down, you can bring them up. And that's what happened in this situation. I tell him, I say, dude, I, I appreciated the conversation, but there's a lot of other questions that I haven't even started answering yet. Next question, how do you stay so calm, man? <laughs> Good question. And I'll tell you how in a minute, but before that, so, I answer a few more, and then after the speech, he comes up to me. Arms folded. What about this, James? What about that, James? I've just gone through his list. You know, I've already got through a bunch of them. Added some cracks to his walls. What about this? What about that? My like, cool, more opportunities. So I'm like this, and I answer him, and, and that is the answer to that question. He's looking at me. He's like, "You've got an answer for everything, don't you?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yes." <laughs> and then he smiled. And he, he looked at me and he goes, well, maybe I'll call you later and ask you some more questions. And I was like, I'll be waiting by the phone, man. <laughs> and he unfolded his arms and he shook my hand. And I was like, whoa, dairy farmer. And then 
his wife was looking at me, who was at least as angry. Who was at least as angry. And she's looking at me, I'm thinking, like, here we go, have I got her as well? Like, is, she, is she on board? She looks at me, she goes, thank you so much for opening our eyes to this. And I was like, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Two dairy farmers, they came and they wanted to fight. And I didn't fight back. I did not fight back. I'm not there to fight. There's enough fighting happening in this world. Vegans shouldn't be fighting. It's not a fight. That's violence. I'm not into it. We should be increasing the peace. Showing how to live peacefully. Showing how to respect people. Showing how to live the life that we're asking others to live. And I'm walking the talk. And they walked out of there not like hating vegans even more, pushed further in their wrong direction. They walked out of there like, damn, that vegan made some good points. And he was a really nice guy. And that's the difference. And were some seeds planted? Did they go vegan? I don't know. Probably not. They owned a dairy farm. Be cool. Probably not. But their perception had changed. And we had increased the peace, even if only inside of them towards vegans and their feeling towards vegans, even if that's all that happened, that's still meaningful, that still has a ripple effect, it still means something. You can't make everyone go vegan, but you can raise consciousness, increase the peace, and not contribute to these petty, angry arguments that really just do nothing but make you feel like shit and make them feel like shit. It's just not productive, in my opinion. And this is, not, like I said, not just my opinion. Another quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He said, the means we use must be as pure as the ends we seek. We want a peaceful world. We want a respectful world. We want a compassionate world. Model that behavior. If you're not gonna model that behavior, if vegans aren't gonna model that behavior, even in the toughest times, model that behavior. If we're not gonna do it, who's gonna do it? Who's going to do it? Now, there are some great people out there modeling that behavior. Some yogis and some Dalai Lama and whatever. But they don't have the whole package. <coughs> Maybe a lot of them aren't vegan. So their words and their actions in a lot of ways are contributing to peace. But some of them are not. But that's sort of the same to us. A lot of us, our actions are contributing to peace and our words point in that direction. <coughs> But some of our actions, some of our words contribute to more conflict, right? We can do something about that by striving to be better versions of ourselves. Does that make sense? You with me on that? I think that it just, it's just one more thing that we can all do. It's not just what you say, it's not just how you say it, it's who you are, who you are when you say it as well. So if you are really coming from this positive place and you are really being this, this person who is talking about this world we want to live in and modeling how to do it, showing them how it's done. You're going to help so much more.